Hi guys. Okay, so we're filming a few videos back to back while I slowly but surely work on getting a little filming area, a little sit down, chat area set up. But I'm not going to let this stop my flow of filming videos and getting this done. So <laughs> today we are talking about business packages and why they're essential as a freelancer in almost any area that you want to offer your services. Now, if you don't know, packages are like um, what you'll see on a lot of service providers' websites of their offerings in a bundle. And usually there's different tiers, there's different options that they'll give you, right? And you, okay, here's why. A lot of freelancers on their website, you go to their website and it's like, here's what I can do. And they list 20 different things and they let the client basically kind of like cherry pick what they want. And here's my analogy for that. You go into a restaurant <laughs> and on the menu is like eggs, flour, tomato, noodles, and then you have to put it together. Now, there's places like Chipotle and stuff that do that. There's options, but it's all within a, uh, you know, a food type, right? Like bowls, burritos, that kind of thing, right? They still give you a container with to work within, right? And if you went to a restaurant and you had to put together your own meals as a non-trained chef, for the most part, if you are a chef, great, then cool. But if you're an untrained chef and you're chef and you're going to a restaurant and you have to put together your entire thing and your entire dish and your appetizers and everything based on the menu, that would be too much work. You want them, you want to have your pickings, but you want them to have done the labor and the work to put it together to give it to you, right? And that's the problem with a lot of freelancers. They're like, oh, I can do SEO and keyword research and copy and landing pages and emails and all of that. And like, while that's nice and great, you're very talented, cool, bless, good job. Um, you gotta put it together in a way that your client can like pick what they want from your menu, right? And that's where packages come into play. Um, so basically, for the most part, let's just talk in general, there's a lot of different strategies, but for the most part, almost everybody does three tiers right and in your package it helps also make you more money because instead of you doing something like just hourly email marketing your package already includes your rate based on the research organizing that research putting your drafts together rewriting editing you ideally have done the time have taken the time to put that together into one package to know exactly how much that's going to cost for a client. So if you want to sell them an email funnel, for example, you already have priced that properly according to like the average of what you've already done as in your life. So if you do not have packages, you need to make some. I was just thinking, I was like, are there any on my site? And I don't think so because I'm currently not, I have not a ounce of bandwidth for two to three months of taking on clients. So I don't have them on my site, <laughs> but so I'm, you know, taking away my own advice here, but that is, but since I've been doing this for 10, 11 years now, I often will already put together packages based on either what I'm currently offering or the type of clients I'm going after at that point in time. Um, I've also put together packages after I've talked to clients and then come up with an option. That's also another strategy. Once you talk to them, you know their needs and what they want. But I've also been making content on the internet for so long about copywriting that like it's, it's different as opposed to like if you're just starting new and you're trying to work with clients and you're like, I do 800,000 things. But think of this in like any service, right? Like if you went to the doctor and you needed work, and they listed every possible thing that they could fix with you. You'd be like, but I just need this thing. Like, I just need my foot fixed, right? You want them to tailor their experience to your needs and put together a bill and a package 
and give it to you. <laughs> and so you need to do that. So let's dive in. Okay. So if you've never created a package before, number one, creep around to like other people in your industry who are offering what you offer. Erring on the side of people who are in your general range. Like I'm not, if you know, I'm not going to look at some multi billion dollar company and look at what they offer, right? I'm not going to look at the biggest ad agency in America and look at what they offer for content creation services, because that's not what I do. Um, you want to keep it within reason, but just kind of look at what they're offering, right? And it can give you a great ballpark. Even in my, all my years of doing this, sometimes I look at other people's website and I'm like, oh my God, I'm undercharging for that. You know, I'll see someone offer a package of like X, Y, and Z, and then someone else who like, I know is doing well. So it's not just like a price that no one is paying for. It's a price that people are paying for. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's almost double what I'm charging. Oh, you know, and then you can adjust accordingly. But like, it gives you an idea of how people are taking their services, putting them in packages and offering them. So you need to creep around a little bit, you know? Um, number two, you need to figure out what you actually like to do. Do not create a package of things that you, you like, don't actually want people to buy. Like if you want to be a copywriter and you're lukewarm on blogging, why are you creating packages around blogging, right? It's nice to add that as like a little sprinkle on the end of what you do. But the point is because you need to have a package that you're actually passionate about possibly offering to clients, right? You need to be like, I actually really want to do this thing. And this is great for me to do, right? Like, what's the point of doing freelance unless you're going to do things that you genuinely like or else like just go get a job that you don't like, right? Um, so once you have that and that, what's out there, what you want to offer, now you're going to sit down and create your packages. And generally, this is the common sales technique, you're going to create three packages. I have some notes here. Number one, the lower tier is your lower package. You don't really want clients to take this. The first package is just framing of costs for the other packages, right? It is what you want for the most part, it's for people to buy your middle tier package. That's where you're aiming it towards. And that's what all people do. If you ever look around the internet, you'll see, you'll see the three tier strategy. The first one kind of frames the cost of the second one. Um, and then you have your premium package on the end, which is like the real handholding package, um, which makes the middle one look like a great deal. So most clients will pick it. And then we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, so your lower tier, all right, let's just, let's just say you're a website copywriter, right? Let's just make this easy. Um, so you could offer in your basic package, like I, uh, three emails and a landing page, right? Basic, basic, basic email structure. Um, with an, with a landing page in the beginning that like leads them through this little baby funnel, right? Very simple. So then your next tier is, let's say the landing page with the email funnel, and then you're also going to do the sales page on top of that, right? Like you're gonna take, you're gonna hold that customer's hand through the whole thing and take all of that work off of your client's plate. Um, now you want to price all that accordingly. Sales pages are often more money, true. Um, a lot more money than any of the rest, but you want to price that accordingly to where like, if they're looking at that middle one, they're like, Ooh, that's a good deal for just like a few more hundred, few more thousand dollars, whatever it is. So if your beginning tier is like 500, your next one's going to be like 750. And then your premium one is like 2000 ballpark. I'm not saying quote those prices. Don't quote me on any of this. Just figure out your own pricing. And then, but that gives you an idea, right? Because if they're already spending 500, why wouldn't they spend 750 and also get this extra stuff, right? But then they don't want to go premium. Maybe they don't need that much hand holding. Um, but but the, like, you don't also really want everybody to buy your premium package because that probably, you're probably offering things like one-on-one -on -one calls, like 
ongoing services, blah, blah, blah. Like you don't really, it's, it's usually like very involved, right? You know, so like maybe that's not really what you want them to buy. And when they do, great, just now they're paying a premium price, so it's all worth it. But you really are trying to frame it so that middle package, you're like, you want them to look at that and be like, oh, that made so much sense to pick that one. And this is what a lot of copywriters don't do. Or people who are other freelance offering options, right? Like they they frame it in like three separate packages and you have to frame it as like the psychology. You also see this on things like software websites, right? They always have like the free tier or whatever, the like slightly upgraded from that and then the like enterprise plan. And you're like, oh, well the personal plan makes the most sense. Like I get the features I want without all the like 24 seven customer support. So like, but but like the free plan doesn't offer as much as I want. So that middle one, you'll see it everywhere. As soon as you see this, you'll see it everywhere. They want you to pick the middle ones. That's what they want. <laughs> um, and then once you kind of put that together, which I'm really giving general thoughts, but like, it's really hard to give specifics on everything, right? Cause I don't know who you are, what you offer, what your experiences is, experiences, what you want to like package that in a way. Um, but once you do all that, then it's time to test it and see how clients respond. Now, if they buy too many of the first one, you're not making that second one look appealing enough. You need to maybe throw in something else into that package to get it where it's a no brainer. Then they see that second one, they're like, oh, that's clearly the best deal. That is absolutely, like, you know what I mean? If everyone's on your site or on a call with you and they always just want your first package, like you have priced that at too good a deal and you need to adjust, ideally. Okay, I mean, these are all generalities. I don't know what you offer, but like for the most part, it's psychology, you're playing a game here. Um, But not really a game because then you're helping them and getting, you both win. However, um, and then if everyone is buying your premium package too much, no, that thing is way too cheap. You need to like kick that price way up. Unless, I mean, you're have a, have a, you know, brand that's like a lot of people will pay a God amount of money to talk one-on-one -on -one with people who they like, right? Like, or the, who they admire or who are popular or whatever. But um, outside of that, <laughs> that means it's too cheap. If people, everyone's always buying your most expensive package, it's way too cheap. Unless you find out that like you're making a great amount of money and it works for you and you're happy, write it out. But that also means you could probably double the price of that thing and then you want to put people in that middle tier. And then the people who buy the other one are really getting your full focus and service. But um, that is pretty much it, you know, sit down. Take the time to think about your packages. Make sure the price made sense. Don't make packages that put you in a, you know, where you're only making $20 an hour. Why? Why? Just don't get a job. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna do that to yourself, just, unless you're just starting out and that's fine. Do what you gotta do in the beginning. Hustle, get those clients, whatever. But then it's time to play the pricing game. Okay. That is it. That is how I put together packages for not only myself, but for my clients as well. Okay. We're wrapping it up. We're keeping these short. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>